Everything you touch me, everything you touch me. Right, welcome back, and uh, you've been listening to, and in the background, a lot of South African Caspar and your vest who uh, filled the dome at, in uh, uh, Randburg recently. And that was significant for a South African artist uh, because we've been seeing the international artists coming and do the same. But homegrown talent uh, doing amazing things. Again, you know, I'm a little bit older. Talk to me about Don Mag. Uh, <laughs> but I'm getting pulled into this world <laughs> more and more, which is great to hear. All right, so let's get some answers. Uh, <laughs> We just heard now. <laughs> so Tepon Zimande raised the question about percentages and ownership. Uh, I think uh, they are raising important issues. But some of the issues really, I don't want to talk about those issues publicly, but I think we need to meet and deal with these issues. So I'm not going to respond uh, directly, but I think those issues, when we as SABC, we take any decision, we should consider uh, their input on this matter. And before we move on, we'll make sure that we engage everybody, everybody is happy. But maybe coming to uh, uh, Eugene, you know, as leaders, sometimes we take popular decision, sometimes unpopular decision, the one that you didn't like. But I always tell people that one of the that the issue when it comes to leaders, you must take popular decision and unpopular decision for a good reason. And everything that I have been doing, it was for a good reason. But also, you know, in life, I always said to our colleagues, you don't work with people that you like. You work with people that add value in any event. So I don't work with people that I like. Uh, Mshana, maybe I don't like you, but you add value. <laughs> As long as you add value, I will work with you. It is, not, it is not a matter of liking each other. But also, I want to emphasize that I work with very brilliant team within the organization, and I want the CFO, the acting CEO, and the ESCO members to stand up, because when I take this decision, it is a collective. It's just that I'm a bulldozer amongst all of us, but they are the team that really contribute to the uh, 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 building of this organization called the SABC. Can you stand up, colleagues? Okay, we're running out of time, but table was on table number three. Uh, in fact, let me start with Ernest. Where's Ernest? I'm not sure. Where's Ernest? Okay, yeah. thank you. Um, I'm no longer sure whether to address Mr. Mutsuning as Mr. Fixit or Mr. No and Dan. Uh, I think it will be appropriate to address him as the people's COO. 90% music content in our lifetime is noble and historic in nature. And we shall never forget the strides you've made with the team, SABC board and the Minister of Communications. You have taught even those who represent artists that sleeping on duty must be a thing of the past. Don't lack. We shall never write the history of South African industry, entertainment industry, without, without mentioning you, your Mzwakes, your Praupas, and their generation that have consistently fought for the well-being of artists. I respect you because you did not go to the SABC to advance your personal agenda. And your courage proved that you don't have to be a chairperson or a president of any organization to fight an injustice policies. To Khiba, to Khiba, you have never disappointed us nor embarrassed us. And we know that you have touched imperialist nerves and sooner or later, they will attempt to dislodge you, but unfortunately, they shall never win that battle. I wish others who enjoy to be called Bonkoikeli, Libobaeta Pili, 
without delivering to learn from you that we can't just uh, romanticize a, a, a radical uh, transformation without implementing it and for us to prosper as an industry because in my other life I'm an, I'm an arts practitioner uh, leaders in our art industry if you took a decision to lead us please allow us as a constituency space to benefit from this noble change in the name of the organization that you right. represent but when you get there thank you very much <laughs> thank you very much indeed for that comment and uh, Mr. Matsumaneng, it seems that you've got a lot of support with this initiative. Uh, somebody's tweeted, if we have uh, a Mandela Day, we should have Cloudy Mutsuaneng Day as well. Uh, <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, we've run out of time, and this is what always happens with these kinds of discussions. Perhaps we need to revisit this again in the near future, and uh, perhaps in three months in the first quarter to see what's happened and uh, just get some feedback on that. But I want to thank our guests, uh, the Chief Operations Officer at the SABC, Claudia Mutsuneng, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Don Laka, musician, producer, entrepreneur, legend. In fact, we've been given a bit more time, actually, so uh, we'll continue to uh, have this conversation. We've been given a little bit of extended time, so if you're uh, watching at home at Morning Live SABC, that's our Twitter handle, hashtag TNA Biz Brief. And I wanted to go to, I think it's... Uh, table, uh, table number three, uh, he had a question, if you could uh, ask your question. We've just been given some more time. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we cannot thank Don and um, Dr. Motsuning and their teams enough. They deserve uh, accolades upon accolades. And also, I would like to recognize those that came before us who have been fighting the struggle. Um, I change from questions to just comments and mm -hmm. uh, pump a mandala into the whole thing. I think as an industry, we should not be allowed by this beautiful thing to be divided. Um, so I, I call on the, all the industry itself to say, <laughs> let's unite and ensure that uh, we benefit from this thing. However, Dr. Mutsuning, we are behind you. Mm -hmm. uh, would like to work with you as uh, structures to ensure that the monitoring uh, issue is sorted out uh, to have balance across genres, but also to ensure that uh, we can uh, get more benefit out of it in terms of royalties between 2002 and 2006. And we are prepared to engage with you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed for that comment. <laughs> All right, so sadly, we're going to have to say goodbye to our viewers on SABC2, but this conversation will continue on Channel 404 on DSTV. If you're on SABC2, though, have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Right, for those of you that are watching us on Channel 4 or 4 DSTV, here's a question that I have ask for you, and maybe Brad Don, you can address this, and Bridget, you can comment. We've got these great initiatives, 90% local music on radio, but the real story actually for these musicians is that CD sales have been going down steadily over a period of time. So bad that the threshold for what is gold and what is platinum had to be revisited and downgraded. Is there not a bigger problem more than just exposure? Well, uh, the, the world has changed and there are a lot of people, are, some of them are still downloading, but uh, uh, we are still uh, this continent. You, uh, I was speaking to some people from KwaZulu-Natal uh, who still buy cassettes and, uh, because of one reason. Where they live, there's no you know, tar. So if you play a CD, it jumps. Mm -hmm. So they prefer cassettes. And we still have the cassette market, which is still there. And we still have the, the, the physical copy that is still there. The problems that South African artists faced, and the reason why the music stores in South Africa have been phased out, is because South African music has almost died a complete death. But with the rise of this 90%, you'll see many things flourishing again. And uh, I say, let's give this time. Let's give this 90% time and see the flourishing of South African music, the content, and uh, all the supporting uh, 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 what's the structures that are... Well, there you go, a discussion that's going to continue on Channel 404. It has had such an overwhelming response from uh, viewers that have been watching. So please, if you have that, do... Uh 
Let me try that again. If you do have access to Channel 404, there's another load of conversation coming your way on this issue. So please tune in right now. But for our SABC2 viewers, I hope you enjoyed this extended edition. You have a wonderful day and we're back with you bright and early tomorrow morning. So for me, it's goodbye. Palesa, also enjoy that. Quite an interesting one, wasn't it? Fantastic. Quite, but emotional on the side of Eugene Muteto having to kneel down and begging for royalty payment. Yeah. But it was quite uh, an eye-opener. I must say we enjoyed it. We had fun. And they now call the COO local content lesser. <laughs> there you have it. There you have it. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Let's leave you again with some wonderful music from Zrake Mburi. Enjoy. See you tomorrow. Shop, shop. Take care.